be 44 grams. We'll find out, I guess. Let's take a look. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, they haven't got the boxing of the lambs there. Standard stuff. Micro USB, what is surprise? No surprises there. This is the only difference, grip tape. I can tell, and the scroll wheel is different, but it's like the rubber. We've got the same, excuse me, nightmares of uh, the grip tape in the X Lite. These are the Infinity Skins, right? From the original Ultralight 2. This one got the rear pads on it. These are exactly the same. So you've got the same pattern. That's the exact same pattern. Well, look, there we go. So there's the tens. Uh, it looks scented. Don't know how I feel about the smoother scroll wheel, like the rubber. It's exactly the same already, you can tell. Like, it's just the old uh, colour, maybe they've yeah, probably running KL8s now. $40,000. I feel lighter now, these switches. Spread the base silver, same side buttons, same non rounded skates, which are just beyond me why well, they don't still round them. So it's a gram and a half heavier than all the rest, and only 44 grams. So a gram, maybe a gram heavier actually. Why didn't you round the skates? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. It's exactly the same, and I'm pretty much guaranteeing it. The thing that might change is the glue position on the PCB. What do you reckon? Same screw. to see the same oh what a surprise it looks identical you've got kl oh. same glue got glue here glue here glue here and one on the front so looks the same same encoder same switches same side buttons same battery It did weigh a gram heavier though, 48, no, 45, 45 grams. Okay, that's different, they've removed the washer. They put a screw with their washer and that's different. So the, the um, original Starlight had a, a silver washer to stop it stripping, but they've changed that. I'm still the same. Construction still the same. You can still get S1 in the top corner. This bit is cool how they've done the tooling on the side for that though. So they've got the same hook on the button as the others. That's not different. Maybe it's on the main shell. A bit weird, you got one of them's got whatever that is, but the other one doesn't. Overpress protection, so why is it only on one of the plungers? Like they put tape under there, but that this part here is the actual plunger. That's the bit that pushes down. So why put the mail out tape under it? I've understood that. 
Right, other than that, all the same. Like, like totally identical. Apart from this weird gimpy bandage. I don't know if the base looks the same to me. It's painted. Uh, it's glue. Also, someone said they've changed the base plastic, so maybe that's heavier now. So maybe that's where the extra grams from. If they generally have changed it, I don't know. We're going to find that out easily. Hmm. That's different. They've added that to it. Didn't have that on any of the ones. This bit of plastic in the very bottom of the base to hold it in. Maybe again, stop sensor around. That TTC's maybe changed, it's not purple. That's a new one, I think, isn't it? KL8's are the same. And it's rocking the armor on side still, which is standard. The newer scroll. Still be like that to be fair. That's definitely not the issue. I always like how they've drilled out there in a part of the scroll wheel now. It's always cool. This feels like silicon. One tens mouse taken to pieces. I was, I was still disappointed they didn't change the shape of it. 